Good morning everybody and welcome back. My name is Lynn and I am Pretty Paper Craft 67. Binding junk journals. We all do it. Um, but what is your favourite style? I have made it a bit of a mission at the moment for me. I'm just um, going through YouTube videos and different tutorials on seeing uh, the different styles of binding that that is available for junk journaling or paper crafting. Um, yeah, so I've got three examples here um, that I have found are nice, are easy to work with. Well, not so much easy for this one. So the first one here, this is your three hole pamphlet stitch or binding stitch. Um, I must admit that this one does intimidate me some, but this is, I use wax linen thread and a big darning needle and an awl and you know, you know the drill, you punch through your holes, you thread your, your twine, your cotton and tie it really tightly and you do get a nice bound journal. So I love this style probably for, um the strength that this binding style gives to journals everything is tied in really tightly but I do do have problems um, with lining up the pages as I'm pulling my needle through sometimes I do slip and then you have to go through each individual page to bind it but yeah tried and tried and tested three hole pamphlet stitch so that one I think most of us have tried or used or do use in our journal making. Um, the second one that I think is a great idea, this is just a little journal that I'm putting together for myself. And this one is your hinged me method. So I've this is an old book cover. So I've hinged my first page onto the book cover with fabric. And then I've just gone through the rest of the book and hinged with washi tape. Um, I like this style because it's a single page. It well, it can be a single page um, insert or you can also do a double page insert. I've done a couple of those throughout this as well. Like that one there, that's a double page. So, and I like the way that the book lays flat. Um, it can be a little wonky this way but if you're into that really grungy, shabby style, um, I don't think that that looseness is such a bad thing. It's not so loose that it's going to fall apart. But yeah, it's a nice, it's an interesting way to uh, bind a journal. And I think it's just a little bit more relaxed. So that is the hinged method where you basically take a page and hinge it to your other page and then continue through the book hinging each individual page to the opposite page so and it's interesting that you know you've got all all your washi you could um again hinge with um a fabric strip throughout the whole book you could cut coffee stained paper you could put patterned paper and glue it on but just for convenience and time washi being already adhesive yeah it's it comes together really really quickly so that's your hinged method um, and I've hinged two pages onto my center page, like flaps. So, yeah, so this is just a little project that I'm doing for me. But this one here, um, I really have enjoyed putting this method together. And this is called your tab, tab hinging method. Um, so what I liked about this, this style is that you can ready make your pages before binding. When I bind a junk journal, I usually pick my cover, decorate my cover, choose my pages, and then bind them, bind the pages into the cover, and then decorate the book. But this way, I decorated all of the pages first, and then I um, hinged them all together and made this little flip book. So I think this is such a sweet little idea. I love the way that the washi shows through. It's got that kind of shabby, grungy feel about it. I've used a lot of Tim Holtz in this one as well, so that certainly helps with that grungy feel. 
and these I, I like I've made all little pockets um, I did a video a, a week or so back on f uh, index cards and pockets so I've created this journal pretty much with well, booklet it's not really a journal it's a little flip book um, with ephemera um, and load uh, I've made the book with the pockets and then loaded it all with the ephemera and so it's a really simple idea because all your pe pieces are, f are completed I've even hinged a tag in there and the books they just come together so quickly um, yeah so I love this idea I really do it's got a little pocket little tag inside a pocket there I've used some safety pins yeah and just a couple of journal cards in that one at the back so I thought today it's a very quick and simple idea um, we'll just do one together now bear in mind that this is only the second time I've used, I've done this method so yeah <laughs> Fingers crossed it works out. So um, with this tab binding method, you need to have an even amount of pages. Um, they can be any size, bigger, smaller um, to each other, but as long as there's an even amount of pages. So I've just, I'm, I'm, I've, just for the video today, um, I haven't decorated this. I'm just putting it together. And I've got two um, cardboard covers um, from, a, from a biscuit box or something they are and then I've just grabbed a couple of envelopes and I'm just going to bind these together with the tab method um, just to sort of show you how quick and simple it is so I'm just going to use this washi tape it's about oh let's have a measure oh it's probably about three quarters of an inch wide this one this is just a Kaiser craft one um, and I guess depending on the height of your pages would determine the width of your washi tape. Or f again, you could use fabric fabric strips for this, um, coffee stain paper cut into strips, patterned paper cut into strips. But be just because washi is pretty much instant in in adhering um, pages together, I thought I would just go with that for the video. So I'm just cut. I'm just ripping some strips about inch inch long strips roughly um and yeah we'll see how we go so what we do is you take your cover or you take your first page and i i'm just turning it upside down because i'm right-handed and you're just going to sort of um stick your washi onto the edge of your cardboard sort of evenly spaced as possible and for this first page we're going to do three so three pieces just basically stuck down like that I think that one could come up a little bit so yeah just like that then we're going to turn this one upside down onto the table this is my second page so on this one I'm going to put two pieces of washi and I basically want them to sit in between those three pieces that I've just put down on the first cover page. So just roughly measuring. I think we need one about there, like that. And another one around about there, like that. So yet yeah, they fall in between the two. So then what you want to do is take this second page lay it upside down onto your first page bringing those edges in nice and even and then the first three pieces of washi you're just going to wrap around over that second page like so so that's those two pages stuck together and then you still have your two strips here to adhere to the next page now on this one again we want to go back in and do our three strips of washi so we're just going to level that up, sort of measure, eyeball it. doesn't have to be exact, but yeah, somewhere around about the same area as those first three. Three. And, yep, yeah, that's pretty good. And then again, turn this upside down, place it on top of that stack there and kind of level it up. And then you've got 
your two, two pieces that we're going to wrap around that, like so. And then these three are what we've just attached to the envelope. And then your very last page. Now you can have as many pages as you like. I'm just doing four for the video. But in this one, I actually did eight. And then this last piece again, you just want to lay it straight over the top of all of that stack and level it up as best you can. And then those last three pieces of washi, you just wrap around over that cover like so. And there you go. It's all bound together. So it, it lays beautifully flat. It flips really, really easily. And you can then come in and decorate your pages if you wanted to go that way. Or you could decorate all your pages first and then come through with the washi tape at the end. So yeah, this, I don't know how clear that is. And that's very thin. Um, you could now go ahead and just continue to decorate, continue to add more pages if you wanted. Um, yeah, but yeah, that's probably a better view of how the system, binding system looks. I just really like it. I think it's quick, it's simple, it's rustic, and um, I'm not so worried about my pages all messing up when I try to do the three-hole pamphlet stitch. I don't know how it, how this might binding method would go with a lot of paper, but uh, yeah, certainly an easy, easy idea. Really nice little flip book that sits nice and flat, and um, if you get stressed about a three-hole pamphlet stitch like I do, give that a go. It's not too bad an idea at all. All right, that's about it for me today. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I hope that everyone has is settling into the new year. I haven't written the date yet, so I'm sure I'm going to muck that up a few times before I get it right. But anyway, um, I hope everyone is well. Stay safe, and um, I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.